Today I went and saw the new Ryan Johnson murder mystery, Glass Onion. I love the first 2019 film. It is such an original, fresh, new take on mur murder mystery. Ryan Johnson is a very talented writer, and I think it's a phenomenal film. So naturally, going into this movie, I was incredibly excited because of just... I just know he's going to deliver. I, I, You just know, based off what I was seeing reaction-wise from film festivals, the fact that they had this premiere at film festivals, everyone deep down knew that this was just going to be another great experience. And I'm just going to say it really was another phenomenal experience to watch a new Ryan Johnson, Daniel Craig murder mystery. He captures such magic with these films, and it is such a treat to watch these to see everything unfold because each Knives Out and Glass Onion both find ways to subvert expectations and to make something original, new, and fun out of this murder mystery genre that we have gotten a lot of, but not a lot of within the last couple years or so. So to see Ryan Johnson really use this genre well is very nice to see once every couple years. Of course you had Daniel Craig and he's back and he is great as ever and he really brings a lot of personality to into the detective that he plays. This time we have a whole new cast. We got Dave Bautista, Leslie Autumn Jr., Ka Catherine Hahn, a bunch of other people. It's tough to not play the compare game with the 2019 film because you got a stacked cast of that as well. You got Ana de Armas, Tony Collette, Jamie Lee Curtis. I will admit, I did like the ensemble in the first Knives Out a little bit more. Besides that, the, the characters here are bursting with personality. Every single one of them have at least one or two standout moments. This movie is just as funny, and I think it's funnier than the original, much funnier. There was a lot of really good running gags throughout that don't break the tension. It really knows when to have a good comedy swing, and it knows when to pull back for a serious moment. There is just some great choices that they make from a screenplay perspective in this film, and it can be drawing for others, and I could see it not working for some people, but I think it, it really worked for me, and I think it will work for a lot of people. This What I really respect about this movie is that it goes to a completely different location, other part of the world, and it has, it, it's just so much, even though it's still a murder mystery, it feels so much different compared to the 2019 Knives Out. It wants to be different, it wants to be bolder, it wants to be better. The question is, is it better? That is a really tough question that I have a really hard time answering. I will say that Knives Out 2019 is just like a little, 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 little bit better. It's really tough to compare these because it's just the slightest little margin that I think 2019 is better. And I'll tell you why. In 2019, when they, spoiler alert for the 2019 film, when they reveal that it's Chris Evans, I wasn't genuinely shocked by it, but I was like, okay, that that's pretty good. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, it didn't necessarily shock me. It just, it all made sense, and yet, yet it's not something that I would have guessed. This movie, though, about around the halfway point, I kind of predicted a key point that they would wait to reveal towards the end. And so once I noticed it, it only made more sense as the movie went on. The movie did try to debunk it a couple times, but then I thought even more like suspicious like and I was like yeah when they revealed it at the end it's not like I was like I called that this movie sucks it's like they revealed it in a very clever way there's a lot more layers than I um expected to it but overall my prediction was correct there's a lot of things I want to say about this film that I can't talk about without getting into spoilers and there's a lot of things that I would praise, but it's things that are already given about a Ryan Johnson mis murder mystery. It's a sh extremely sharp screenplay. It's one of the best screenplays of the year. It's incredibly well acted. It's one of the best ensemble casts that we got this year. It's one of the best comedies of the year. And I really love um, Ryan Johnson's political humor, and he adds a lot of COVID humor into here. That I it's really funny and not something I necessarily expected. Yes, he does dive into stereotypes again. I'm all here for it because the actors really, really relish in there and they do a very good job. Yeah, that's all I really can say about this movie. It was extremely smart. It moved fast for its runtime. It was incredibly well directed and incredibly well acted. It moved very well. Yes, I did see some things coming. I, I would have maybe preferred it to be a little less predictable but th that's what's so funny about this like it's so hard to talk about without spoiling but the n number one thing that I saw coming had deeper layers to it than I thought so it wasn't necessarily predictable it's just like I saw that part of it coming Ugh, I, I, this is like I said it's a hard movie to talk about but it was another great murder mystery by Ryan Johnson 
yes, I even though, like I said, first Knives Out is just a tad better. This one, it's definitely just as good. This movie provided a lot. It makes a lot. It makes even bolder moves, particularly from a like a production design standpoint, from a writing perspective. It really like you can tell that Ryan Johnson is like not more indulgent because I don't want to. I, when I say indulgent, that sounds mean to me. It's just he leans more into what he's good at, even though he got trashed for it <laughs> for The Last Jedi. Overall, great movie. I'm going to give Glass Onion a 9 out of 10. One of the better films this year, obviously, if you've been watching my channel. The, a 9 out of 10 is not necessarily hard to find. It's just, if I give it above a 9, pretty high honors. But I did just, my most previous review was for Tar, and I gave that a 9.1. We're in the awards season. Is this going to get awards nominations? I doubt it. Maybe screenplay. Maybe screenplay. But besides that, I, I sadly don't really see this any getting award buzz. Maybe production design. But besides that, sadly, I don't see it going anywhere else. Comment down below if you guys saw Glass Onion. If you guys are going to wait till Christmas for Netflix, I, I say go to the theater for this one. Like, share, subscribe, and stuff like that. And adios.